Hello everyone and welcome to Mitchell's Full Body At Home Workout Quarantine Edition. Today we are going to need two bed sheets, two pillowcases, and either a chair or a cooler. I used a cooler for the video. What I'm doing here is tying knots in the bed sheets and throwing them over the door. Once laid out, you can then shut the door. The sets and reps that we'll be using here will be two sets of each exercise, doing as many reps as you can do. Up first, we have diamond push-ups. Diamond push-ups are the best push-ups that you can do to activate the chest and the triceps. If you cannot do a diamond push-up, try getting on your knees and doing a diamond push-up. If you can't do it on your knees, try to go to an elevated surface like I'm picturing here. One of the ways that you can progress these exercises is either by adding weight to your back, like with a backpack or other household items. The next exercise that we'll be doing is a shoulder press. To start the shoulder press, you're going to get in a push-up position and walk back up. From there, you're going to bend your elbows and press yourself up. One of the progressions that you can do here is by increasing the angle, like I'm showing here. So my feet are up on the truck bed, and I still do the same pushing, pressing motion. The next exercise is scapular retraction. So you remember those bed sheets we had earlier? We're going to pick them up, and we're going to lengthen our arms and squeeze our shoulder blades back together. If you want to make it harder, you can take a step forward and lean back again and do that same motion over again. Next up with our sheets will be our bicep curl. So to do the bicep curl, you will simply lean back like we just were, extend your arms, and bend your elbows. If you want to make this harder, you can take another step forward and it will give you more tension. Up next we have the pistol squat. It's a personal favorite for me. We're still going to be holding those bet sheets, except now we're going to kick a leg out and bend our knee and squat down. To make this easier, use your arms more to pull yourself up. If you're still unable to do this, I have an alternate coming up. This is the alternate to the pistol squat. I'm sitting down on my cooler and I'm standing up and then I will sit back down again. We're going to do each leg here. Next we have the rear foot elevated split squat. To perform this, you're going to put your rear foot up on the cooler or up on the chair and simply bend your knee and do a squat. If you cannot do this, bring something up next to you so you can support yourself as you do it. The next exercise that we're going to be doing is called the lat pull down. Here you're going to lay on your stomach with your arms over your head. You're simply going to pull yourself across the floor like you're doing a lat pull down in the gym. Remember those pillowcases that I said we needed earlier? Well the hamstring curl we're going to use these. So to start out we're going to put the pillowcases underneath our heels and then we're going to slide our heels to our butt. To do this you want to make sure that you're keeping your spine straight that you're not throwing your hips up all the way. Thanks for watching everyone and happy sweating. Just remember when you're doing these exercises that those two sets do as many reps as you can but don't push yourself to the point where you fail. Also do these in a safe environment. Make sure that there's someone watching you, there's someone around you and there's nothing that can hurt you in your area.